Hello guys, welcome to the channel, it's Rad and uh, this is going to be a, a weekly tarot reading for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and uh, Sagittarius Rising, March 18th to March 24th, uh, 2019. Uh, now, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, once again I want to remind you that this is going to be a, a general reading for Sagittarius Star Sign and uh, for that reason this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with uh, every single different Sagittarius. But if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and uh, to give you a prediction for it for the future, that is a, a subject for a, a personal reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings on a very front page of it, which are starting from just as little as $12. For the reason being, I have decided to keep the reduced prices for the month of March as well. So the first card, which is the topic of Sagittarius this week, that is going to be the Knight of Swords, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the uh, Eight of Pentacles. Followed by the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation, toward the Knight of Swords, that is going to be the Strength card. And the last one, that is going to be the final outcome of growth. Should you follow the guidance of Tarot here, we do have the King of Cups. King of Cups, yeah. So, uh, once again, we have the uh, Knight of Swords, followed by the uh, Eight of Pentacles, then it is the strength card and the last one that we do have this is going to be the king of cups which is the final outcome of growth should you guys follow the guidance of tarot all right so uh what we have here with uh, the knight of swords is that this week the the topic of your week is going to be this person very courageous very enthusiastic very powerful one basically that person has um uh, or their actions are very, very determined. They're also with a very sharp and flexible mind and they're always ready to jump into action. So that could be a, a very good cooperation, you know, pushing certain things through with, uh, with that person. However, uh, when, um, when you cooperate with them either career-wise or relationship-wise, guys, it's going to be always uh, in your favor if you first kind of like uh, how can i place it first scope what you fear about the decisions that you are about to take because uh that person could be a little bit impulsive in a sense of that yeah their mind is sharp you know flexible uh they can very well analyze situations and so on and so forth but sometimes they are just getting a bit ahead of themselves and that's why you are playing the role of a, of a brake stopper or rather like someone who puts the brake on it and says well wait a minute you know we we have to think this one uh, this this thing uh, a second time we got to basically find a, a better way to do it now uh, with the knight of swords uh, it's uh, more like um, physical cooperation meaning that you and that person are going to uh, push certain things through the additional card here that is going to be the chariot and the formation it is a active neutrals and with um, with the help or rather like you know with the assistance it's not going to be even a help because for what it seems is going to be from a mutual benefits you and this person combined over the common goal um <clears throat> together you are to uh, overcome a a very very difficult situation here with the chariot so the more you lean toward the knight of swords the less difficult the chariot is and as active neutrals as well, uh, it does look like that whatever you are chasing for throughout the week or whatever this person is stepping out, it is unlikely that you are to get as good results as you can if not cooperating with that guy or with that woman. Again, young, very enthusiastic and determined person. So how this could materialize, you know, it could be a, a co-worker of yours stepping out offering you to help you with a certain project or responsibilities, tasks that you do have, very energetic, very enthusiastic, 
and together you can achieve greater, greater things rather than uh, trying to achieve them on their own. So uh, what the point here with these cards, guys, is, is that there is no need for you to turn off a, a helping hand or turn away a helping hand because well, it's simple as that, two, uh, two heads thinks better than one and four hands work faster than just two. Uh, if we're talking about more intimate uh, type of relationship, you need to know that um, the devotion of the Knight of Swords doesn't go through its heart, it goes through its mind, meaning that he, um, as a Knight of Swords, it's very prone to analyze your actions and your behavior rather than to follow his uh, emotional state. I mean, it, because he is associating with you, definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, definitely they have something emotional towards you, but the major factor here, it is the chemistry and as well, you know, the, the, the physical impression also, meaning that they kind of like are, are physically appealing and they expect their partner to be physically appealing as well. And uh, in, in general, you know, they kind of like hold on to a good behavior, consistent behavior, if I may express myself that way. So the second card for you, Sagittarius, is which is how you should not approach the situation. That is the Eight of Pentacles. And if you take a look here with these couple of cards as the topic and the uh, second one, which is the negative, they form a active enemies. So uh, as an active enemies, the Eight of Pentacles here points uh, not more, not, it is not like being over trusty, but well, it's difficult to explain, but the Eight of Pentacles here rather asks you not to be way too... Um, well, it's not even unyielding. The word is not unyielding, but let's say attending to the really, really minor details into the situation. Meaning, you know, uh, you're dating with a guy and that guy for some reason kind of like reschedule a date that may mean that may not mean anything what i mean is that you should not be way too attending to those kind of minor details which are happening here and there that may cause ups and downs because with the uh set with the eight of pentacles there are going to be definitely ups and downs into the situation either this is going to be an intimate relationship you know or a business project and so on and so forth or just say a common endeavor into one's a social circle uh, it's not going to go uh, as smooth as possible like I said there are going to be ups and downs and you being uh, too attended to those ups and downs rather than to attend more to the uh, overview of the subject here you know uh, you are going to make your time run more unpleasant than it, ha than it has to be because with the Eight of Pentacles uh, at that position, things can differentiate. It is basically what the card points, is that you may not be able to establish full control and give direction to the situation. Sometimes you have to react just on, on fly as you go and so on and so forth. And that is the charisma of it. That is the, um, the thrill of the hunt, if I may express myself that way to adapt yourself, it's not even adapting, but let's say to capitalize on the unpredictable circumstances that are happening here and there throughout the road of you either resolving uh, a, a difficult project into your career or, you know, having this exciting interaction with that person into your relationship or, or life. Because if the Knight of Swords appears as such, as a new suitor of yours, definitely things are going to be very, very, um, how can I place it, um, passionate. Okay, because there are going to be ups and downs, uh, unpredictable shenanigans popping in here and there. There will be a lot of temper as well in between the two, but in the same time, it's going to be very exciting and very, very enthusiastic. The accompanied card that is going to be the page of uh, wants, the formation is passive neutrals 
And uh, these couple of cards, the page here is uh, a confirmation that it is best not to go on your own uh, in this uh, in this specific uh, enterprise, especially if we're talking about business endeavor, because you can you have what to get from the cooperation with this person one way or another. While it is true that the page is uh, strong on its own accord, here the page points that whatever new you are hoping to come around as a help, it is already around, meaning it is already manifested itself. Therefore, you should not seek it into the minor details as the Eight of Pentacles um, suggests, but just, you know, I cannot even say that this is about salvaging the situation. It is more like being resigned about how the situation is, what means you do have and try to make the most out of those means. Like I said, there are going to be ups and downs, you know, things are not going to go as smooth as, as you would like them to go. But that will, again, is going to be the thrill that you require to reignite your passion to start dating once again, you know, uh, or you know, the passion to resolve uh, difficulties into your career, not your personal difficulties, you know, but the difficulties into um, uh, the difficulties that are classified for your job. Uh, uh, the way I see that is uh, what comes to my mind as an example is that let's say you haven't dated for a, a while and now um, uh, you and someone are start uh, texting each other, you know, start dating and so on and so forth. But I, not everything goes planned. Like I said, you know, you may decide to schedule a date for tonight, but at the last moment they kind of like um, reschedule the day because they have to stay late at work and so on and so forth. And you are irritated by it, but in the same time reignites the thrill within you that you are now playing this game of, uh, of cat and mouse in a relationship life, which is a, a very ordinary and usual routine when it comes to two people getting to know each other. Uh, and uh, the next card that we do have for you guys, this is going to be the uh, strength card, which is the positive aspect or rather like the positive attitude you got to have toward the situation. The strength is about uh, taking the things with a huge portion of enthusiasm and as well determination to jump forward and to uh, basically involve yourself into it as well. The, the strength revolves around patience in a sense of that you have to be patient enough to... Um, give yourself a time to get used to get the hang of it of the shenanigans or the different character of uh, this person especially talking about relationship that is as well the strength uh, if we're talking about relationships it is a, about a, a huge amount of sexual power it is kind of like a passion it is attraction and so on and so forth but at the very least <clears throat> the strength here is a sign that whatever toils or whatever difficulties irritating details you have to overcome throughout the week is gonna definitely worth it because how cruelly displays the strength card is like you are climbing the mountain of your achievements you know you struggle climbing the mountain at some point you don't know even why you're doing it you know why you have to struggle or why you are going through such an efforts and toils until a point where you reach reach the summit you reach the crest you you survey the vista in front of you and now you know why you did it I mean now you know that it was all damn worth it uh, additionally to that the strength card here asks you to rather uh, allow your presence, your charisma and as well determination to speak for you. Meaning that you should not try to explain yourself with words, why you're cooperating with that guy or why you together wants to do that or wants to do this and so on and so forth. Just allow, you know, your exhilaration and uh, once again, determination to tell the others that this is something you are doing it because it is something you want and it is something that you are finding very amusing. And the accompanied card here that is going to be the two of... Um, Cups, the formation is active, uh, active enemies. The two of cups here points that the situation is going to be a bit awkward for you with the strength card. This passion that you're going to find, this uh, um, <clears throat> uh, 
it's it's passion and uh, enthusiasm you're gonna find yourself is gonna be completely abnormal it's it's gonna amaze you as a matter of fact and at the very first couple of days of the week you may even find yourself out of your skin uh, like for example uh, you are used to have that mature love and it's something that you seek and suddenly that person comes around and you start experiencing these butterflies in the stomach that you had in the high school you know something that you haven't experienced from a long time and that kind of place in awkward position you don't know what to do and uh, you're finding yourself out of your skin and so on and so forth and at that point you know your temper could be as well over exaggerated uh, and the temper of this person as well which could provoke a little bit of a wrangles here and there some um, confrontations but these confrontations are going to be very productive confrontations as the energy from them you know it's kind of like two people squeezing each other like this you know and then what they create is a form of heat that will only going to heat and make a bigger warmth into the relationship either business one or a romantic one as well so uh, the point to here is that don't be biased if you about your expectations if you're feeling a bit awkward and a bit uncomfortable in their presence and what they propose you and how they in generally react uh, um, or act, you know, on your propositions and on your approach toward the situation that forms you together. It is because, you know, you are unique, you do have differences, and the differences is what going to make you special for one another this time around. So what happens at the end here with the King of Cups? Uh, it does depend if we're talking about business or a relationship. Uh, this is one of the times where it does depend on the narrative we are following. And the king could manifest in a couple of ways. Should this be about a romantic relationship, the king is a sign that this person is going to reveal their emotions towards you. You know, now they, at the end of the week, they're going to be sure what they feel and what they want and how they want it. And they, in a very, very balanced fashion, is going to... Um, <clears throat> is going to reveal you know what how deep their emotions towards you are and what kind of emotions they do have if we're talking about however business endeavor you know and you cooperate with that first person this is the step out of a third one that sees your cumulative efforts with the knight of swords and makes you a, a very very good proposition for example you are toiling upon a project for a client that uh, you are trying to develop and so on and so forth and that client really sees you know how um how brilliant you are in general with so with the strategies you come up about the project and that client kind of start keeps you in mind in case they want additional project to be furthered and even you may not be surprised having a, a job offer from that specific person because the night the king of uh, cups when it comes to uh, <clears throat> career development, it is a person who steps out in this kind of position who gives you a, a very, very good tempting offer or the very least helps you to develop yourself even further. The accompanied card that is going to be the uh, Five of Cups, which formation it is uh, passive supporters and that will be a confirmation that you haven't wasted your time, just like I said here with this strength card, that all of the efforts, all of the patience you exerted there, all of the things, the shenanigans that you had to endure, endure along the way, cooperating with the Knights of Swords, finally worth it, you are going to realize that this time is not wasted and it is definitely a, a path even though you found yourself a bit awkward and miserable at the start definitely a, a road that you should proceed on forward and exploring it as well the five of cups in these um, uh, in this cooperation here in between cards points that you are to narrow your emotions as well your emotions are going to be narrowed you're not going to feel baffled anymore or not knowing what you are experiencing or kind of like what kind of feelings you have toward either a certain project or toward either a certain person as well and you will very well know how you should move on forward from here and you will become much more balanced much more experienced as well and in generally much more productive either career-wise or either relationship-wise so just to summarize that uh, Sagittarius is <clears throat> 
it does look like that you are to uh, discover throughout this week a, a brand new area of life that uh, in a very different way, it may not be a, a new area, you know, it could be the same area, you know, for example, relationships, but in a very, very new, unique way through the prism of the, uh, of the takings of this Knight of Swords. And to your surprise, you are going to like it very much. Um, and when you start, you know, acting in the same way, then you are to see that uh, there is so much more in it and there could be, uh, you can be beneficial from it so much more than this that you could, you are going to be, like I said, quite surprised. And as I said, that could be something that's, um, it's placing you in an awkward way. Now that I think it may manifest, for example, you're not used to make a uh, online dating and that could be the case here with this person. And because it's online dating and you are not used to it, that could be an awkward position and so on and so forth. But in the same time, we'll keep up the trail. And there you go, at the end of the week, you know, that person makes a, a decisive step towards you. Once again, it will depend on the narrative how the King of Cups is going to manifest, but these are the most um, plausible ways how the King can manifest should this is going to be about career or about relationship. So uh, that being said, Sagittarius, is this was your weekly tarot reading for March 18th to March 24th, 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, as a general reading, it's going to resonate in a different way and in a different level for every single different Sagittarius. Is. But if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal uh, situation to be interpreted by me through tarot cards, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there uh, you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the reason that I decided to keep the special sales for the month of March as well, being more accessible to as many people as possible. So yeah, that being said, see you around guys. Bye.